Fire Emblem Three Houses has been out for a couple of months now, and since a lot of time has passed, data miners have been able to go into the game files and check what was used in the final game and what was scrapped. I'm V, the Pizza Boy, and today me and my friend Nightwhisper1202 will look at more of the cut and unused content of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Fun fact! Did you know that Claude uses a fake name? In an interview done with the directors of the game, Toshiyuki Kusakihara and Genki Yokota, Kusakihara stated, Claude is an alias. His actual name is Khalid. We wanted to reveal it somewhere, but in the end we never did get that chance. Actually, there was meant to be a scene where Nadir called him Khalid midway through the game, but it was removed because it didn't really fit. While it was hinted at in Cindered Shadows, the game actually never refers to Claude as Khalid, and his real name isn't even in the game files. However, some characters do, in fact, have their full names listed in the code even if their full names are never mentioned. You see, Three Houses is one of the only games in the series to give out the full names of your characters. However, even when impossible to see their full names in-game, most characters have a first, middle, and last name. Some of these names include Geralt Roos Eisner, Cornelia Arnim, Lenato Gildas Gaspard, Miklon Anschutz Gastier, Yuritza von Hrim, and Lambert Egit Blathid. There are also more than 25 names that don't appear to be used anywhere else in the game, and nobody really knows if these were possible cut students, story characters, or maybe just random NPCs. Now to talk about some of the changes between updates, including unspecified bug fixes, some of the supports were changed. In Felix and Annette's B support, Felix says to Annette, You shouldn't dance up there, you could fall. After the update, Felix now says, <laughs> Well, your skill is impressive, I'll admit. There doesn't seem to be any reason to why they changed it, as the original Japanese version read, one of the more controversial support changes came from Byleth and Bernadetta's. In the release version, Bernadetta says, To train me to be a good, submissive wife? He'd do things like tie me to a chair and leave me there all day, challenging me to stay quiet. After the update, Bernadetta's lines are now, To train me to be a good wife? He'd do things like tie me to a chair. When people first found out about this change, they immediately jumped to believing it was changed to censor the original. And at first it does seem that way. However, in the Japanese version, Bernadetta says, So, it's more likely that it was changed to match the Japanese version rather than to censor the original release. Now for the biggest change of the two versions, the voice actor for the male protagonist. One week before the game was released, the English voice cast was able to announce their roles for the game. Most, if not all of the cast, either made a small post on Twitter, or in certain cases like Joe Zija, posted a video to YouTube announcing their roles. However, something many found odd was that the voice actor of Male Byleth had not made a public announcement yet. This was because the voice of Male Byleth was none other than Christopher Neosi, and he was going through his own controversies. On July 18th of 2019, Neosi confirmed that he had in fact been abusing former colleagues, as well as sexually and emotionally abusing his partners. According to his ex-partner and being supposedly confirmed by Neosi himself, he had bragged about being cast as Byleth in the game before he was legally allowed to do so. In most acting projects, voice actors are required to sign an NDA, or a non-disclosure agreement, which basically states that the person who signed it is not allowed to talk about the project they took part in until a certain date. In response to this, Neosi's credit in Fire Emblem Heroes was almost immediately taken out, before his whole performance was swiftly replaced by Zack Aguilar, who is known for his roles as Koichi Hirose in JoJo's Definitely Straight and Not Gay Adventures Part 4 and 5, and Tanjiro Kamado from Demon Slayer. On September 10th of 2019, a new update to Three Houses introduced Aguilar as the new voice of Byleth moving forward. If I have to defeat you, then so be it. 
The game data for three houses is significantly more cleaned up when compared to the 3DS Fire Emblem games, as there seems to be almost no placeholder items. There are, however, early images or images that went unused in the final game. This image of Xanadu on screen now was used in the final game. In the files exists an early version of the picture which actually depicts an adult Sothis standing where there is simply a statue in the final game. This is pretty interesting as this is one of the only times we get to see adult Sothis in the game. There are also some unused support images still left in the game. For all S supports that happened between Byleth and another character in Crimson Flower, they have all been edited to reflect the fact that Byleth's hair returns to its normal color. However, Cyril, Catherine, Plane, and Seda all have these S support portrait variants, even though it is impossible to recruit them on those paths. While it is possible that they could have been recruited, we believe that it was done so that every character had a variant, just in case. Now for one of the most interesting things to be cut from the game. During Azure Moon, both Felix and Annette would betray your army and leave sometime after the time skip. During Chapter 18 of Azure Moon, both Felix and Annette would appear as enemy units on the map, and even have unique dialogue for certain characters. It's even fully functional if hacked back into the game. Since I don't want to steal footage from the uploader, the link will be in the description and I will recreate it in this video. I won't let you pass! No matter who you are, there's someone I must protect. I won't step aside, even if it means fighting you, Professor. Prepare yourself. I won't lose. Can't you put an end to this nonsense and come home? I'll even bake some of your favorite treats. Oh, I love your treats, Mercy. They taste great, and they're really good with piping hot tea. I would have liked to enjoy them one more time, but I'm sorry. I can't return home just yet. Annie... Annette, throw down your arms. Would you really fight your father? I can't do it, father. I can't betray mother and my uncle. If I have to defeat you, then so be it. Father, I beg you, instead of me, help mother. Yes, I promise, Annette. Stand aside. There's something I must do. I'll relish cutting you down. No need for chit-chat. Come at me! So, the old man's dead. Yes. I'll cut you down. Prepare yourself, you damn boar! Very well. Come at me, Felix. Sylvain, stand aside. My blade thirsts for his blood, not yours. If that's so, then you ought to stand down. I don't want to fight you either. Fine. Then we're at an impasse. Felix, get a grip. We don't need to fight. Out of my way, Ingrid. I must defeat him. And then, what will become of you? <sighs> you never have listened to reason. It's over. I'm sorry, father. Now, the most likely reason as to why this was cut is because it wouldn't be very fair to the player if two of your characters left near the very end of the game. If the player relied on these characters, it's possible that they wouldn't have replacements at a high enough level to continue through the game, thus soft-locking their save. The only way to save your playthrough at this point would be to hope that you have a save before this to grind some other units, or possibly even have to restart the game. Also, it seems Felix defected as revenge for Rodrigue's death, but he was always portrayed as hating his father and always being at odds with him. It just seems out of character for him to suddenly have such a desire for revenge after arguing with Dimitri throughout his entire path. As you know, the Monastery is a huge part of Fire Emblem Three Houses. In fact, it probably makes up about 50% of the entire package. There is actually a ton of early text still in the game, which lets us know of many cut activities, and that the Monastery was supposed to be very different before the game came out. For example, the game was supposed to have a focus system, in which you could choose one of the 11 skills to increase for the month. Your students would then gain a boost in that skill. Originally, there were supposed to be 8 group tasks, but only four of them made it to the final game. Three that were cut have a title and a description. These were Fishing Pond Management. Work together to manage the water quality. 
tidy up the fishing pond and feed the fish. Greenhouse upkeep. Work together to clean the greenhouse and care for the plants. And food procurement. Work together to forage and hunt in the nearby forest. The final task is only listed as GW Spare 2 and has no description in either Japanese or English. In the final game, you are given a couple of activity points to spend, with a max of 10. Earlier in development, it was possible to gain more than 30 activity points. However, not only would you have to spend more of your activity points to do certain things, but it was counted per month, rather than per week. In earlier versions of the game, there would be a sort of mini-game, where you would trade with other places in the world for resources. Some of these locations never appear in the final game, such as Kupala, Gwydion, and Miak. There are a ton of leftovers in the game, like a Hyrule Castle stage from Hyrule Warriors, and something called a Composite class but we don't have any information on what that is. But one of the most interesting things left over from early in development were birthday parties. In an early version of the game, players could invite their friends to celebrate their birthday. It is unknown if it was only available to the player character or if every character could have a birthday party, but the fact that you could throw a virtual birthday party in Fire Emblem was just so bizarre. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I want to thank Nightwhisper1202 for helping me make this video. If you like my content and want to support me, please consider donating a one-time donation to my coffee account. Link in the description and pinned comment. I'm currently working on a review on three houses to see if it's still good after all these months. And after that, I will be reviewing every single Fire Emblem game. So if you want to see that, please subscribe. Thank you.